no recipe required. I'm Dave, and um, it's Super Bowl season. A few days before the game, and uh, everybody's going to go to a party somewhere. Those parties got to have some food. So what I'm going to do is show you two uh, sliders you can do inspired by each team. I've got a Broncos slider, and I've got a, a Carolina um, slider. For, uh, for Carolina, what I'm going to use is a little bit of pork belly. Pork uh, barbecue, very common down in uh, South Carolina. We're going to take this, we're going to sear it off, we're going to braise it, get it nice and tender, and make these beautiful little sliders in there, maybe a little bit of um, like mustard slaw on it. And then um, for Denver, I'm going to go more beef oriented. You know, frankly, lamb would be great. You could do this with a, uh, with a, like a leg of lamb. I'm going to go short ribs, and um, I'm going to braise it in some, uh, some beer, some Colorado beer, if I can find Well, I did find it. Found some Blue Moon. We'll braise it off there. Nice little uh, short ribs. Um, again, get them super, super tender, nice and um, nice and uh, flavorful. Put it on the slider. We'll figure out some toppings. Some, I think I got some arugula lined up, maybe some pickled red onion. Going to be absolutely spectacular. Um, we'll start off with Denver, these short ribs. So what I'm going to do is um, give them a good seasoning, liberally salt and pepper on both sides, and then get them uh, seared. We'll show you how to braise them. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started on our Denver Broncos slider, sliders, and a uh, little bit of olive oil in the pan. That's actually a little too much olive oil, so I'm just going to go ahead and dump a little bit of that out. If you have too much, you're just going to get a lot of splattering. So here I've got our short ribs, which I liberally seasoned with, um, with salt and pepper. I'm going to lay those down, and I'm going to turn the heat. The heat's been on high. This is a good hot pan. You want to hear that sizzle. And um, I'm going to let these go for probably three minutes a side. I'm going to turn the heat down to kind of medium high. I want to get them nicely dark brown. That's where a lot of the flavor is going to come from. So we're going to come back, flip them over in about two minutes. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and flip these guys over. You want to see that kind of dark brown color. A little bit of smoking is absolutely fine. You don't really want to burn them, but you do want to get, like I said, all, um, all sides nice and crusty. After I get that second side, I'll flip it and just do their um, do the edges a little bit as well. All right, guys. So you can see I'm just searing off those sides a little bit as well, and um, you can just prop them up against the uh, side of the pan if you can try to. Maybe against the other side of the uh, or the other piece of meat. I added a um, a carrot which I chopped up, an onion obviously chopped up, and there's a garlic clove in there that I just uh, gently crushed. Um, I'm just going to add those for about five minutes, maybe seven minutes, to start wilting them down a little bit. They're going to add a lot of flavor to our braising liquid. Okay, so I just let those uh, veggies soften up a little bit. That's going to help release some of those flavors, and frankly, they release moisture and um, lift some of that deliciousness that is off on top on the pan that came from the short ribs. Now we're going to add a uh, few spices. Now you can take this a number of different ways. I'm going kind of a south west flavor so I got a little bit of cumin in there a little chili powder and again you know portions don't matter a whole lot call it a teaspoon each and then some oregano and I'm just gonna add those to the pan give them you know literally 10 seconds to just uh, sit there in the heat that's gonna help again release their flavors a little bit and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and add our beer. Now I'm using Blue Moon, which is a uh, pretty light, mild, I shouldn't say mild beer, but a lighter style beer, right? It's not like a stout. Um, obviously that's going to make the um, short ribs a little bit lighter. There's a million Colorado craft brews. You know, if you want something different, go ahead and use it. I'm going to cut that with chicken stock, maybe about, you know, about half and half maybe chicken stock versus beer. And then my final ingredient, which is going to add a little bit of sweetness, but a ton of richness and a really cool color, is about a tablespoon of molasses, which is, you know, that super dark, kind of rich sugar, um, sugar-like product. I'm just going to stir it, make sure it's kind of mixed together. And then what I want to do uh, is bring this just to a simmer, barely, barely, barely bubbling, you know, even sliding this whole thing covered into a uh, like 250 degree oven would be absolutely perfect until the, uh, the meat is fork tender, which is probably gonna take about two hours. 
All right, so for our Broncos burger, we're gonna go ahead and make a couple quick uh, garnishes for our sliders. First up is gonna be some pickled red onion. I've got, obviously, a red onion here. Sliced it in half, woo! Then sliced it um, in nice little thin, thin uh, slices here. What I'm gonna do is I've got a pot of water that I just took off the boil. Now, best to do this on the, on the stove, but uh, I'm doing it here so I can show you so you can see it all. I'm just gonna drop them in there and that's just gonna soften them up for a minute or so and take some of that harsh, um, harshness out of, the, um, out of the onion. And then we're gonna make a little pickling liquid. Really easy to do and I find, I find the best way to do it is actually just in a little baggie here. I've got some white wine, this is champagne vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar. I like using one that is um, you know, relatively clear, not, um, not, what do you call it, like balsamic vinegar. I've got, call it a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of sugar. I'm gonna crack a little bit of fresh ground black pepper here. You could do um, whole peppercorns. You'd also throw in other ingredients like, um, uh, garlic cloves, red peppers, you know, kind of anything you want in here is flavoring ingredients. And then what we're going to do, I don't have my tongs, but we'll go ahead and use a handy dandy spoon. And we're going to drop our softened onions into the bag and just let them marinate, you know, for anywhere from, you know, 15 minutes is kind of the minimum, but you could do this, frankly, a couple days ahead of time with no problem at all. And the red in the onions is gonna kind of bleed through. It's gonna turn into a nice uh, pink color throughout. We'll seal this, mix it up, throw it in the fridge, and you are good to go. Let me, uh, let me clean up this mess. We'll go ahead and make our next uh, condiment. All right, so I've got our pickled red onions in the fridge. They're just gonna do their thing for, like I said, 15 minutes. The longer you go, the more uh, kind of pink and purple they're gonna be. Next thing we're gonna do is a horseradish mayo. Now, get it? Horseradish, Broncos, very, very clever. I know, I know. So I just have some regular uh, prepared mayonnaise here. A little prepared horseradish, boom. That's all you need to do. You can kind of do it to taste, right? Um, mix it in. I've got maybe three tablespoons of mayo here. I uh, call it a half a teaspoon of horseradish. Most important thing to do is obviously give it a taste. I love that. Yeah, you can definitely taste it. Tiny, tiny little bit of heat. Actually, I'm going to go maybe just a touch more in there. You know, you can also add pepper to this. You can add uh, Tabasco sauce. You know, whatever you want. You can certainly be creative. Capers actually would be really nice in here. Or pickles, some chopped up pickles. Um, and uh, this is going to be our sauce for our sliders. Okay, guys. So my short ribs have been going for probably two and a half, almost three hours now and they are nice and tender. You can pull them apart without much effort. So what I'm gonna do, we'll kill the heat, and I'm just gonna take these off and let them rest for, you know, five to 10 minutes or so before we slice into them. Okay, so our short rib now has rested just a few minutes. You know, you can even serve these uh, room temperature, absolutely no problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut a few slices. I like going maybe quarter of an inch thick, and I'm serving mine on these little tiny dinner rolls. Uh, but you know, use hamburger rolls, use whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and take our horseradish mayo, put that down. Then we take our sliced meat, go with that center cut. It's going to be so tender and juicy and delicious. And then we've got our pickled onions. You know, a little bit goes a long way. So you don't want to overstuff them. They've got such a great bite to them. They're gonna be absolutely fabulous. And then maybe a little bit of arugula so that we've got our nice greenery. It's too big, you can just tear it up a little bit. And then we top that baby. And we've got Denver Broncos sliders. Good luck in the, in the bowl. And um, let's go ahead and get to the Panthers. Okay, so. We did the uh, short rib for the Broncos. We're gonna do pork belly for the Panthers. Pork is uh, a yeah, really common barbecue. We're gonna go ahead and sear it off. Now, you wanna liberally season it with salt and pepper. This is uh, yeah, the same piece I had. I just cut it in half so it fits in the pan. And then um, you're gonna sear it so that we develop a nice little flavor on it. 
I'm gonna let it go like three or four minutes per side. I'm gonna do essentially all four sides until it's um, nicely golden brown over the entire thing. Okay, so it's been probably 10 minutes or so to get all four sides nicely caramelized. You get that golden brown color. This is where a lot of the flavor is gonna come from. So we got our vegetables here. Same vegetables we use for our, um, for our Bronco sliders. Some carrots, some uh, onion, a little bit of crushed garlic in here. And again, we're just gonna let them, um, let them kind of cook down, start releasing those flavors, wilt a little bit, which is really gonna contribute to the flavor once we add our braising liquid. Okay, so we've given our vegetables maybe five, six, seven minutes to wilt down, cook down, and so now it is time to start our braising liquid. Now, I'm starting off with a little bit of jelly. This happens to be strawberry jelly, but grape, use whatever you have. You're really just looking for some fruit, some sweet. Fruit and pork go absolutely beautifully together. And um, in addition to the jelly, we're actually going to grab a little bit of apple juice, which is going to contribute about half of our uh, half of our liquid. Again, apples and pork, an absolutely spectacular combination. Little strong on its own, so obviously we're going to grab a little chicken stock and use kind of half and half apple stock, apple stock, apple juice and chicken stock in there. Add a little bit more salt and pepper if uh, if you think you need to. It's it's really you're more likely to under season. Now the one other flavoring I'm going to add here is a little bit of fennel seed. And um, fennel has a nice little anise flavor to it, um, and I actually, I love it, again, with pork. It won't read, you know, like, oh, this is fennel. It'll just be a little bit more background flavor, make the, uh, make the pork belly a little bit more interesting. Bring this up to a very, very light simmer. We're going to let it simmer for about two hours, and that pork belly is going to become super tender. All right, guys, so I would let this go for like just two hours and start checking it. That's about how long we've got in here. You can see it's not going to take as long as the uh, short ribs become super nice, tender. These are absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm going to pull them off the heat. I'm going to let them rest for about 10 minutes or so. You could stop there, but we're going to add a little extra fry to it to get some nice, crispy edges. Okay, guys, so along with our pork belly slider for our Carolina Panthers, we're going to do a little bit of uh, coleslaw to top that slider. Um, so let's go ahead and make a little dressing here. I'm going to start off with um, sour cream, maybe a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. I don't know. We'll, we'll just we'll fudge it, right? Quantities don't really matter. I'm going to go a little bit less mayo than um, sour cream. Then for uh, sweetness, I've got some honey here. And just, again, a little dab of that. Again, not, not have to go too crazy. And then, um, you know, Carolina mustard barbecue. It's one of those things. So I'm going to hit a pretty good shot of um, yellow mustard in here. Just mix it all together. Um, you know, you could do this easily ahead of time. Obviously, a little bit of salt and pepper in uh, in the uh, in the coleslaw as well. And then um, for that final little kind of bite, that little tang, I got a little lemon here. Do a little roll job like I just did. That loosens up some of the juice. Give it a little bit of squeeze, ooh, and then um, doesn't take a whole lot. Mix that in, and then um, I've got along with the uh, the dressing here. Just a little bit of uh, sliced white cabbage. Um, you could use red if you want. You could use red and white. Looks great that way. You could throw in some shaved carrots in there. You be creative. Throw whatever you want, like red bell pepper or even red uh, red onion would look really cool in there as well. Mix it all together. I like it to do this maybe two hours, three hours at least ahead of time. You could do it a day ahead of time. Let that cabbage just kind of wilt down a little bit. Okay, very optional step here, but I think it adds quite a bit to the uh, the flavor of this slider. We've got our pork belly. It's obviously it's fully cooked. It's super tender, but frying it up like this gives a, a nice kind of crispy texture to the outside, and I think even brings a little extra flavor in there. So we've got um, we've got a pan, medium heat, a little bit of olive oil in there. I'm gonna do the same thing. Just kind of brown it on all sides. It's gonna go much faster now that it's cooked. It's got some of the natural sugars in there. Um, and so you got to be a little careful of the caramelization. Won't take long per side. Okay, so again, like uh, you know, a minute, two minutes a side. Doesn't take long to get them crisped up and uh, nice and uh, nice and flavorful. You're gonna pull them aside again. Let them rest. You could serve them right now, but frankly, I kind of like these closer to room temperature. All right, guys. So now we are at the moment of truth. We're gonna slice into our uh, pork here and uh, make our uh, Carolina Panther sliders. You know, obviously, I've got a pretty small piece of pork. You obviously, you know, you could do this with a much bigger piece of pork, get bigger slices. I think this is probably three or four per slider. Um, I've got some buns here. I'm going to use a little bit of barbecue sauce um, along with my slider. So I'm grab the bottom, throw a little bit of sauce, lather it on there. Just use your favorite, you know, store-bought brand. That's what I'm doing. And then we will uh, we'll pop our, what do we call this, the, uh, the pork belly right on top. 
nice healthy portion I'd say and then um, our coleslaw with that tangy kind of mustardy dressing on um, we'll go top that it makes a great kind of crunch and contrast with the with the slaw and then you know if you really want to throw a little bit more barbecue sauce on there I think it's absolutely awesome go ahead top it with the lid and you are good to go with this Carolina's Carolina Panthers slider hope you enjoy it all right guys I hope you enjoyed watching these Super Bowl sliders one for the Broncos one for the Panthers how can you go wrong they're both absolutely spectacular I hope I did the teams justice I hope you enjoyed them I hope you make one if you do let me know but hey if these sliders aren't your thing try my pulled pork sandwiches they're absolutely fabulous very similar to the uh, the pork belly slider and then um, if these teams aren't your thing Check out my NFL Burger Series. I got a burger for every team out there. I'm sure there's going to be something you're going to love. I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required.